Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover how to install a Fluid Master dual flush system. And I'm going to be installing in this toilet, which has an original tank size of 3.5 gallons, and that's kind of wasteful every time I flush the toilet. So I'm going to install this dual flush so I can use a half flush for liquids and a full flush for solids. That way I'm not wasting as much water. So I'm going to cover how to install this system, and let's get into it. Your first step will be to uninstall your old valve, including your flush lever. Next thing, clean the tank out as best as you can. And then you need to identify what type of flush valve you have, whether it's angled, flat, or if it's made of brass. If it's made of brass, you'll have to buy a special adapter to continue this process. If it's angled, they include an adapter, which you'll install just by dropping it in, which will allow you to continue. And if it's flat, you don't even have to use this at all. Since I have a flat valve, all I have to do is drop my dual flush into place. Now it does have an arrow, and it needs to point towards this pipe when you drop it in. All right, just like that, it's on. Okay, next up is to install your fill valve. Now this top of the blue valve needs to be three inches higher than this pipe. It doesn't have to be precise, but if you need to make any adjustments, hold the device, and then you can screw it, run screw it, and that will adjust the height for your initial setting. Drop it into place. Now I'm currently higher. I'm going to make it a little taller. And I'm going to leave it at that for now. And I'm going to go ahead and screw it down. So take your nut, come from underneath, and tighten it up. Next, take your refill tube and attach it to the overflow pipe on the right side, just like that. Now you need to attach your refill tube to the top of it. Now you might have to cut the tube to length, so if you need to, because if it's sticking out above the top of the toilet, it's gonna have to be cut. Next step, I'm going to install the new flush lever. Alright, next I'm going to attach the actuator to the lever. Just push the button on top while holding the lever in a horizontal position. Just like that, secure. All right, once you've finished all of your install, go ahead and turn your water back on. Wait for the tank to fill. Make sure you don't have any leaks in the process. And then first thing you're gonna wanna check is your water line inside the tank and see where your water is at compared to that line. If your water is below that line, then turn this screw clockwise and it'll add more water to the tank. If your water is um, above the line, then turn it counterclockwise to reduce the water in the tank. You will have to flush each time to reset the amount of water in the tank to be able to judge whether or not your adjustment is correct or not. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be pretty close. My water is slightly below the line, so I need to bring it up a little bit more, and I've already made my adjustment, and next time I flush, it should be basically where I want it to be. Now, what you're really looking at for adjustments now is your half flush and your full flush. So, first thing you want to do is do your half flush. So you're going to want to take it, push it down all the way, and turn it to max, which I have done. What you want to do is take three pieces of toilet paper, drop them in your toilet, and then you would flush the tank. And the idea is that every time you flush, it should take all three pieces of toilet paper down the toilet. What you want to do is you want to get to each adjustment. So if I do it on max, it does it. Then I take it down to nine and I keep repeating this process until I find the number where it can't finish the flush and get all three pieces of toilet paper down. At that point, I would go back up to the number that did complete. So let's say I get down to four, four doesn't do the job. So I bring it back to five and that is my half flush setting. Now to do the full flush adjustment, I would take my full flush and dial it into six because I want to be 
at five plus one because that's what half flush was. And then I would peak, I would do this process with six pieces of toilet paper. So if at number six, it can't take all six pieces of toilet paper down, then I would go up to seven and so on until I find that seven. Now, if six does the job, then I leave it at six. All right guys, that completes the video on how to install a dual flush system. If you're looking to install just a standard Fluid Master fill valve system, then check out the video here and you can see my video on that. And we'll see you next time on the DIY Grunt.